The year was 2006. In County Antrim, Northern Ireland, as workers were renovating McQuaig's Bar in Ballycastle, they made an extraordinary discovery that would change our understanding of Irish history. While working on the pub floor, they uncovered human remains hidden beneath a large flat stone. What initially seemed like a potential crime scene quickly turned into an archaeological treasure trove. Expert analysis revealed these weren't just any old bones. They dated back to around 2000 BC, roughly 4,000 years ago, placing them in Ireland's early Bronze Age. The discovery caught the attention of researchers from top universities across the British Isles. Teams from Trinity College, Dublin and Queen's University Belfast led the charge in analysing these ancient bones. Their findings would go on to challenge everything we thought we knew about Irish ancestry. But what made these bones so special? As we'll explore next, DNA analysis of these remains would reveal stunning truths about Irish ancestry, predating the arrival of the Celts by a millennium. This chance find in a small Irish pub reminds us that history often lies just beneath our feet, waiting to be uncovered. Scientists from Trinity College Dublin and Queen's University Belfast conducted genetic tests on these remains. Their results were unexpected and profound. Firstly, the DNA showed that these ancient individuals were direct ancestors of modern Irish people. However, the most surprising discovery was that they lived approximately 1,000 years before the Celts arrived in Ireland. This finding challenges the common belief that Irish ancestry began with the Celtic people. The genetic markers in these ancient remains closely match those found in modern Irish, Scottish and Welsh populations. This indicates that the genetic makeup of these groups has remained relatively stable for thousands of years. Further analysis suggested that these early inhabitants likely originated from the Middle East, specifically from a region called Anatolia, which is now part of modern-day Turkey. It's important to note that these findings don't erase the significance of Celtic heritage in Ireland. Instead, they add a new, earlier chapter to Irish genetic history. The current understanding of Irish genetics points to a combination of very ancient inhabitants from the Middle East, later Celtic arrivals, and subsequent influences from Viking and Norman invasions. This DNA evidence shows that Irish heritage is more diverse and complex than previously thought. It's a mixture of various ancient populations from Europe and the Middle East. To truly understand Irish origins, we need to look beyond the Celts and even further back in time. Around 6,000 years ago, during what we call the Neolithic period, or New Stone Age, a significant migration occurred across Europe. Anatolian farmers began migrating westward across Europe around 6,500 to 6,000 BC. They followed two main routes, the Danube River Valley into Central Europe and the Mediterranean coastline towards Western Europe. These farming populations gradually spread across the continent, reaching France around 5000 BC and Britain by 4000 BC. Their descendants finally arrived in Ireland around 3750 to 3500 BC likely via Britain. A study published in 2015 in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences 
examined the genomes of ancient Irish individuals. One of these was a Neolithic woman who lived about 5,200 years ago. The DNA analysis of this Neolithic woman showed a genetic profile most similar to modern people from Spain and Sardinia. Importantly, these populations are believed to be largely descended from Anatolian farmers. This means that a significant portion of Irish genetic ancestry can be traced back to these early farmers from Anatolia. They form an important part of the genetic foundation of the modern Irish population. The arrival of these farmers marked a revolutionary change in Ireland. They introduced new crops such as wheat and barley, domesticated animals like sheep and cattle, and advanced farming techniques. This period also saw the construction of impressive Neolithic monuments, including the famous New Grange Passage Tomb. The journey to Ireland wasn't direct, but a complex process spanning thousands of years. The people who reached Ireland were a mix of Anatolian farmer descendants and European hunter-gatherers, The Celtic arrival in Ireland marks another significant chapter in Irish history, occurring around 500 BC. This period, known as the Iron Age, brought new changes to the island. The Celts were a diverse group of tribal societies that played a crucial role in Iron Age Europe. While often thought of as a single entity, Celtic actually refers to a variety of peoples sharing similar languages, religious beliefs and cultural practices. Originating in Central Europe around 1200 BC, the Celts emerged from the earlier Urnfield culture. Their heartland was the area around the Upper Danube and Rhine rivers, in what is now southern Germany, Austria and Switzerland. Over the following centuries, Celtic culture spread widely across Europe. By 500 BC, Celtic-speaking groups could be found from Ireland in the west to Turkey in the east and from Scotland in the north to Spain in the south. This expansion wasn't always through conquest. Often, it occurred through trade, cultural exchange and gradual migration. It's important to note that Celtic was not a term the ancient peoples used to describe themselves. It was first used by Greek writers to describe the barbarian peoples of inland Europe. Modern understanding of Celtic identity is largely a retroactive categorization based on shared cultural and linguistic traits. In Ireland, the Celts introduced the Irish language, a member of the Celtic language family. This would evolve into the Irish Gaelic we know today, deeply influencing Irish culture and identity. Celtic art was distinctive, featuring intricate patterns and designs. This artistic style, seen in jewellery, weapons and later in manuscripts, became a hallmark of Irish culture. The Celts brought a new social structure organized around clans led by chiefs. This system would shape Irish society for centuries to come. They also introduced ironworking technology, leading to better tools and weapons. This technological advance had significant impacts on agriculture and warfare. It's important to note that the Celtic arrival wasn't an invasion that replaced the existing population. Instead, it was likely a gradual process of cultural diffusion and integration. The Celtic influence blended with the existing Neolithic culture, creating a unique Irish Celtic identity. This fusion would form the basis of traditional Irish culture, as we often think of it today.
After the Celtic period, two more significant groups contributed to Ireland's genetic makeup, the Vikings and the Normans. The Vikings first raided Ireland in 795 AD and continued their presence for about two centuries. They weren't just raiders. Many settled in Ireland, particularly in coastal areas. They founded cities like Dublin, Waterford and Limerick. Viking influence on Irish DNA was significant. They introduced Scandinavian genetic markers, especially in coastal regions. Studies show higher levels of Norwegian ancestry in places like Limerick and Galway. The Normans, who were of Viking descent but had settled in northern France, arrived in Ireland in 1169 AD. They came at the invitation of an Irish king, but soon established their own control over much of the island. Norman influence on Irish DNA brought a mix of French and Viking genetics. Their impact is most noticeable in the east and southeast of Ireland. Both Vikings and Normans intermarried with the local Irish population over time. This led to a further diversification of the Irish genetic pool. Recent studies like the Irish DNA Atlas project have revealed distinct genetic signatures associated with these later arrivals. For example, some Irish surnames show higher levels of Viking ancestry. Certain regions, particularly in the East, show Norman genetic influence. Understanding these later influences helps us appreciate that Irish genetics, like Irish culture, has been shaped by multiple waves of migration and settlement throughout history. Each group, from the ancient Anatolian farmers to the Celts, Vikings and Normans, has left its mark on the genetic landscape of Ireland, creating the rich and diverse genetic heritage we see today. This journey through Irish DNA reveals that identity is rarely simple. It's a blend of many influences, each adding its own unique thread to the fabric of a people. If you'd like to delve deeper into Irish history, be sure to check out our companion video on Irish history. We'd like to dedicate this video to the memory of our dear Irish friend, Sean Moody, who recently passed away. His passion for Irish heritage inspired us to create this content. Now, we'd love to hear from you. What surprised you most about Irish genetic history? Do you have Irish ancestry? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating journeys through history and genetics. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest uploads. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Irish origins. Remember, every strand of DNA tells a story, and the story of Ireland is one of diversity, resilience, and continuous change.